Sexual impurity may very well be the number one soul-destroying vice that Catholics face in these times. Sexualized imagery is everywhere these days. In movies, television, the songs that come on the radio, billboard ads on the side of the freeway, even in the way that some people dress. And the message behind all these things is the world telling us that there's nothing wrong with being sexual, that it's harmless and natural. It fulfills the needs of the body. But my friends, Jesus said differently in the book of Matthew. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. Temptations are a part of human life here on earth. And as for us Catholics, we are actively engaged in a spiritual battle with evil, as Satan is fighting hard to win our souls. Purity really is a matter of spiritual life or death, as Jesus said. And so, with the help of the Facebook group, Men Living for Greatness, we've composed a list of top 10 suggestions for anyone who is struggling with purity. Number 10, consider joining a support group. Groups such as Lust Recovery and Integrity Restored are support groups for those who are struggling with pornography addiction and other sexual addictions. Carriage is a support group for Catholics with same-sex attraction. Number nine, devote yourself to spiritual reading. Spend maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, even before bed, reading about the lives of the saints or even sacred scripture itself. Number eight, find an accountability partner. Find someone you trust and is easily accessible whom you can call or text when you are tempted or struggling. Number seven, related to number eight, get a spiritual director, preferably a priest. A priest is someone who can guide you and you can make a good confession to at any time that you need it. Number six, consider getting an internet filter. Covenant Eyes and Ever Accountable are two internet filters that are designed to block pornography from reaching your screen. Also, you may want to consider moving your computer into a more public area of your house and maybe putting a prayer card or an image of Jesus and our Blessed Mother on the side of your monitor to help discourage you from looking at things that you know you shouldn't be looking at. Number five, fasting. Practice depriving yourself of things to help build up strength. Also, fasting doesn't necessarily have to be food. Fast for movies, music, or anything else, especially if it's linked to evil, things that have inappropriate stuff. Detaching yourself from these things you'll find will help your spiritual life to grow. Number four, adoration. Devote yourself to spending an hour a week in adoration, talking to Jesus and giving him everything, all your troubles, all your problems. While you're there, pray the Stations of the Cross and or the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Number three, go to confession frequently. If you fall, don't wait till Saturday to go to confession. Contact your parish and schedule an appointment with the priest to have a confession immediately. Number two, pray the Holy Rosary daily. Padre Pio referred to the rosary as the weapon of these times. Give yourself to Our Lady to protect you, pray for you, and guide you to Jesus, and to bestow upon you graces of purity and chastity. And number one, attend daily mass. Receiving the body and blood of Jesus daily will transform you. Almost every parish has a daily mass. And if your parish has a mass at a time that you can't make it on account of school or work or some other obligation, then check the parishes around your area on masstimes.org. And there you go. These are our top 10 suggestions on how to overcome impurity. If you have any suggestions of yourself that you can offer, please post them in the comments section below. We thank you for watching this video. And remember, if you are someone who is struggling with purity, you are not alone. There are plenty of resources out there to help you. Make sure you take the steps now while you still have the time to do so. With that said, thank you for watching and God bless.